around the world, an intense debate is raging about the benefits and hazards of hydraulic fracturing, better known as fracking. South Africa may soon become the next country to explore the possibilities of fracking, and South Africans need to understand the choices we face. Could this be a game-changer for South Africa's economy? Will fracking have a devastating impact on our environment? What is the impact of fracking on renewable energy? The African Futures Project, a collaboration between the Institute for Security Studies and the Frederick S. Party Center at the University of Denver, explored these questions. South Africa depends heavily on coal to supply its increasing energy needs. It is the sixth most carbon-intense economy in the world, but is also home to the eighth largest resources of shale gas in the world. Fracking may help South Africa reduce reliance on coal and meet its growing energy demands with shale gas instead. Using the International Futures Forecasting System, we modeled three potential scenarios for shale gas fracking in South Africa. In our base case scenario, South Africa never exploits its shale gas resources. Instead, it continues to meet its energy needs with coal and increasingly with some renewable technologies like solar and wind. In the shale boom scenario, fracking South African shale gas drives economic growth, government revenue and improvements in human welfare. Greater revenue means that the government spends over an additional 900 billion rand on health, education and infrastructure. This allows 400,000 South Africans to escape extreme poverty. But in the long run, the shale boom scenario has environmental trade-offs. Investments in renewable energy are delayed, causing carbon emissions to increase. And even if only small amounts of water used to frack become contaminated, close to 3 million cubic meters could be polluted by 2050. Most of this contamination will be concentrated in the Karoo, where aquifers are already vulnerable. But is there a blue bridge to a greener future? Our blue bridge scenario includes a small but increasing tax on fracking. This tax is reinvested into renewable energy production. By 2050, 55% of South Africa's energy needs are met by renewable production. This represents more energy than is currently supplied by coal. This drives GDP 400 billion rand higher than in the shale boom scenario and has a similar positive effect on human development. But the environmental costs of the Blue Bridge are potentially much lower. South Africa uses 25% less water than it does in the shale boom scenario. Less water becomes polluted and carbon emissions are also significantly lower. Smart policies on water treatment and revenue taxation may enable South Africa to promote human development and speed up the transition to renewable energy. They will also help limit the negative environmental effects of fracking. Responsibly managing South Africa's vast natural resources is a difficult but necessary task. South Africans should consider carefully what fracking will mean for themselves and their communities, and speak up for the future they want to see.